picture. That's cool. Hey, we're here. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my very first, well no, this is not my first YouTube live, but it is the first YouTube live using my phone. So hopefully everything will go well, but before we start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a few minutes just, you know, while we wait for people to come in. But before we start, I wanna show you something really crazy. Oh, and Adam is holding the camera as always. Adam, say hi. Hey. There you go. Um, it is snowing in Vancouver. And if you wanna take a look outside, and I know for some of you thinking, well, it's Canada, of course it's snowing. No, this is a big deal. It's March, we're supposed to be going into spring, and it is absolutely snowing like mad in my years of being in Vancouver. Maybe every year it'll snow for three days. I mean, at most one week, and it's been just absolutely insane. And people are freaking out schools are closing. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because snow is pretty, but it's also crazy at the same time. And so I want to wait a few minutes before I start the actual tour of the set um, while people are trickling in. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to give you a little bit of context of the occasion of this, uh, of this tour. So we have recently reached um, 300,000 subscribers. Adam, you good? Yeah. How do I look? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Slightly out of focus, but Slightly it will focus. Slightly out of focus? Come closer if you want. How's it going? That's okay. It'll figure it out. Okay. Um, where was I going? Oh, we have recently reached 300,000 subscribers, and so I figured as a thank you because of course this is all you supporting me and i'm forever and, and always always super grateful um as a thank you i wanted to let you in on a little bit of you know an insider's look of what the set actually looked like if you remember at a hundred thousand subscribers i gave a little bit of a behind the scene that was more focused on the process of putting the video together from recipe testing and this and that but i didn't really show you the whole set so today is the day and um, just want to tell you a little story of how I ended up filming here at Adam's place to begin with. And it, when I moved back from San Francisco to come back to Canada, uh, where, whenever I move, I'm always like, okay, where am I going to film? Because it's always an issue, right? Um, the apartment that I am at is just, as you have seen in my previous behind the scenes video, it is just not ideal for filming. There's a big cupboard thing over my head so like there's just no good angle for the camera and Adam happens to have this beautiful kitchen with a great angle and you know what's even more perfect is the fact that Adam doesn't cook like he does <laughs> not cook like he assembles things like instant noodles or maybe like I don't know you boil spaghetti and put cream of mushroom soup, cream on mushroom it. soup. Um, uh, so his kitchen is completely empty uh, and not being used and so I thought hey you know this this works out and he didn't mind he enjoys part you know being a part of everything and so we've sort of here we are filming in Adam's kitchen um, and Neither Adam nor I are film professionals. We have zero background in film or video or anything related of that sort. So it's been a big learning curve, but I wanna uh, give a shout out to my brother, Art, who I haven't really talked about, but in the past few years, he has been absolutely key in bringing us to where we are now in terms of production quality. My brother is a cinematographer, professional cinematographer. Unfortunately, he lives in Hollywood, so he can actually physically help me um, in Canada, but he has been the one watching the show and telling me, okay, uh, if you remember way back, I started out with like a point and shoot that just kind of follows me around the kitchen and it was not HD and all this stuff. He was the one who started saying, you can do better than this start by getting a second camera and he was suggesting okay you're on a budget so here's a really cheap one but it'll it'll do better than what you've got and then you need a microphone and then why don't you get some lights and you need to do this and that and this and that and so little by little bit by bit um, we are able to do what we do now yes no okay and 
by the way, I can't see any of the comments that are coming up, if there are comments coming up, and so I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people have said hi, so hi, hi everyone, thanks for joining, um, and Adam will read out any questions that are, that are pertinent. Um, if not, I hope the comments will still be there when this video is over so I can go back and address them if I need to. Um, so, shall we uh, start on the tour? All right, so come on in. This is the Hot Thai kitchen set. So this is where I usually stand. Um, I got this brand new booze cutting board, which is, you know, the Rolls Royce of cutting board. I splurged on that because I kept going with budget cutting boards that are thin and they keep warping and just, yeah, they were just I, not worth the, the trouble. So I thought, you know what? <laughs> It's like my surface to cut on, so I'm gonna need something that'll last me. So this is it. Um, here's the sink and everything comes. <laughs> I don't know what to show you. I mean, it's so small. Um, this is the stove I used to film here um, before I got my Iwatani um, portable stove. So when I got this, it was because it was starting to become really annoying to have to move the camera here and then have to turn this way to talk to you and it just wasn't ideal so now i can put this right on the counter but a little sort of behind the scenes secret is as soon as i'm off camera and things need to like simmer for 30 minutes or whatever i bring it back here because i don't want to waste my butane gas there so things are simmering back here uh, most of the time and you don't really see this anymore but i made this the little elephant thing. Back when we used to film here, this was like a bare wall, so I thought, okay, we need to do something. So I don't even know how I did this. I'm not a crafty person, but I managed to make those little paper elephants. And um, I've got a little umbrella. I've got a little disco ball that fell off. I need to attach this somewhere. Oh, artwork. Um, <laughs> my Hot Thai Kitchen logo some elephants. I don't even remember where I got this from, Ikea or something like that. And this is a hand-drawn Tuk Tuk. If you've ever been to Thailand, uh, you know, you know, our famous tricycle. They're really cool, but really uncomfortable to travel on. And this is hand-drawn by my personal graphic designer. Super cool. Um, what else is there? Yeah, so this is like stuff embarrassing stuff we don't need to see. Um, I will show you my plants, my plastic plants, the plants that never <laughs> die. Um, this used to be, if you remember, like bright orange flowers, which I decided was too distracting. So this is a little more serene. In the dishwasher, we have all the little bowls and plates that I use for Hot Thai Kitchen. And Adam does not use this dishwasher, like this is storage. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of storage here. Um, so, and Adam doesn't cook, right? So the dishwasher is where he keeps all his dishes and I've just kind of taken it over. There we go. These are all the plates and it's starting to get full. When I first started filming here, this was half empty and now I've completely filled it up with all my stuff. But hey, on the bright side, Adam has endless options for his instant noodles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, nothing to see in the fridge. Nothing to see in the fridge. This canvas um, I got, this is just like a canvas board and I painted it a, a light color so that I can put text on it. And you know, this kitchen is pretty dark and it's black, everything's black. So I wanted to bring some color into it. So that's why this is here. And it just works well as my title background and whatnot. And there are a couple um, of them. There's a few of them. Some of you may have noticed there's a pink one, a green one, a yellow one, and, and I just rotate them whenever I feel like. Um, camera. Oh, Someone my. said awesome slippers. Well, thank you. These are cleaning slippers. <laughs> like you can like rub your feet around the floor <laughs> and clean them. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you my equipment. But I, I am slightly like if you if any of you are a film professional out there, you're gonna look at this and go, I can't believe she's doing it with this equipment. Like we start, we had no money starting, right? So everything had to be like cheap and. And if you see an expensive piece of equipment, it's because my brother Art said, this is worth it and you must get it. And I'm like, okay. So here we go. Um, this is our camera. Let me see. Um, it's a Canon, Canon EOS M. It's a mirrorless. It's tiny. And it's so, it's, it's a dinky little camera and they actually discontinued it. I got it for $300. 
because they were discontinuing it. It came out at $600 and people realized it was not worth the money. And so my brother was like, here, it's 300 bucks, get it. Like it's better than whatever you're using. Um, and then my brother got me this vintage lens, a close, this is a close up camera. So it's a 50 millimeter lens, um, which works really well. We need an adapter for that. We have a microphone. This is the microphone receiver. So I use a laugh mic. Um, this is re this is a good one. This was a splurge for sure. Um, this piece of equipment is a sound recorder. And the only reason why we have this is because Adam can connect his headphone to this thing. Because one of the reasons why I do not, I want to upgrade from this camera is because it doesn't have a, a headphone jack. So we ran into a couple of issues where the microphone was picking up interference and I had to completely throw away the clip. Like I had to reshoot the whole thing because the sound was just cracking up um, and we didn't know that. Uh, so now that we've got this sound recorder, it's sort of the middle thing that has a headphone jack and Adam can listen through there. And my brother gave me the sound recorder. So this was like a, oh my God, what do we do? And my brother's like, here, I have this thing I'm not using, go use it. And, and so it's not an ideal setup. If any of you are thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, don't do this setup. There's so many points of failure in here. There's way too many connections. Um, so that's one of my goals is to eventually get a camera that has its own headphone jack and then this can be completely gone. But anyway, this uh, tripod is another splurge. It's very good, but it's, it's a video tripod, which means it pans and tilts really smoothly. And it's got a little bubble thing that shows you um, its level. So this helps Adam with the close up because this is the one that needs to move whereas the front camera just stays there it never goes anywhere so the tripod is cheaper this one's cheaper I just needed one that's tall enough which did occur to me that there are a lot of tripods that are made for photos that are not tall enough for what I need um, this is the exact same camera but with a wider lens and it's a wider fixed lens um, I have a Rode Shotgun mic up here. This is as a backup. It's not the sound is not as good as the laugh mic But if anything goes wrong with the laugh mic, then I at least have some decent audio for you. So that's what this is for um, All these green tape is to secure all these dangling cords because you will not believe the number of times things fall over <laughs> Because of these cords or we step on the power cord. Or we step on the power cord and it comes out and I've completely lost the clip that I shot as I said, this is not an ideal setup. Um, these lights are, I bought these really cheap, like this whole soft box set. There's a, there's a store in Vancouver that sells really cheap video camera uh, device, devices, equipment. Um, but it works. It's cheap, but it works. It's not the most stable things. Like this especially is really uh, wobbly. But, Flimsy. Huh? Flimsy. Flimsy. Yes, flimsy is one. This one is a little more sturdy, but I actually got this donated from somebody. Just the stand. I got the stand donated, and I was like, oh great, I have one sturdy light stand. That's awesome. Um, the bulbs inside, these guys came with really ugly fluorescent bulbs, and I went through a period of like green and pink and just ugly light video for a long time. And then I started using IKEA bulbs which believe it or not, are really, really good. They're LEDs, they're not cheap, but they produce nice lights and it's accessible and so. Um, you wanna pull the front off and this? show them. Yeah. If we can. In there, if you can see it. Yep. There's the Ikea lights. There we go. Um, what else? Oh, this is the newest addition to the Hot Thai Kitchen set. This Metro rack. So I'm really familiar with this because this is what people use in restaurants for their stuff and my stuff was starting to overflow so we decided to get this rack and these crates they're all from Costco and put my stuff in here and I am so lucky Adam doesn't have a lot of stuff otherwise God knows where I would put any of this um, and you might be wondering why there's a shelf in front of another shelf well this was a tv stand and adam stopped watching television so he got rid of the tv and so he is in the process of trying to sell this beautiful shell because it's not it's not it's beautiful but it's not very useful um so when that goes away then this can go against the wall so adam also works in this place so he works from home 
um, his day his day job. He works from home, and this is his desk. Believe it or not, he he's a minimalist kind of guy. He doesn't need a lot of space. And then when he's feeling athletic, he will work on his treadmill desk, which he put together, which I think is really cool. So he just walks while working and burns an enormous amount of calories, which I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah, anything else we miss? Oh, the curtains. And a couple of things. By the way, you'll want to mention that uh, the comments, you're going to have to do them later because yeah. there's so many. Yes, yes. Thank you for the comments. I, I don't see them right now. I'm not ignoring you. I, I will. I hope I see them later. Yes. Okay. Everyone's Curtain. saying, let's see Adam, but I'm the secret. Let's minion. see Adam. I'm Adam, secret. Adam doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, One I'm day. going to convince you to... Okay. Um, Adam to show his face. So if you it's your show. The curtains, they're, there's black um, rolled up fabric. That is what we use to black out the set because my big problem in the beginning was the light, the sun in Vancouver is very unpredictable. It comes and goes, comes and goes all day. And it was really affecting my filming and you know, my camera is not great. So it doesn't have the capacity to deal with that on the spot. So we got blackout fabric, which we duct taped to whatever the top bit of the window is called and we hold it up with these A clamps very high which tech we, which we let down when we film um, and ideally if we had you know endless resources we would replace these blinds with blackout blinds but apparently they're incredibly expensive and this building has certain rules about what you can and cannot put on the window, like they want the outside of the building to look all exactly the same from the outside. So you can't just like replace the blinds with something else. So Damn we it. have to have this like makeshift um, thing going. And what else? Should we see my dressing room? Yeah. Okay, my dr dressing room. Dressing room, which is really Adam's guest bathroom. Walk past the spare tire. Um, so, there's a little post-it note on the door that says, turn fridge back on, because we turn off the fridge every time we film because, you know, the fridge is loud, you know, suddenly it will go, mm, you know, it's just not good for audio. But there have been a couple of occasions where we stop filming and I leave <laughs> and we forget to turn the fridge back on, Adam gets up in the morning and everything is melted. <laughs> My ice cream bars. <laughs> His ice cream bars, all this junk food is completely melted. So this is my dressing room. You don't really need to see this, it's just a guest bathroom. But Adam <laughs> found this cardboard star from somewhere and he thought, hey, this would be perfect for your <laughs> for your dressing room. Until he has guests, so then they wonder, can I go in here? Is this like somebody's bedroom? Um, yeah, so anyway, this is just where I put on where I brush my hair and put on lipstick and things like that. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. And that is it. I think. Anything else? Anything else? Adam, any questions we can address right now? Yes, this is where the magic happens. Yeah, this sense. is just where the magic happens. Um, yeah, a lot of people ask me about my walk. I will do a video soon about walks. I don't know if it was like recently. It's like walk, walk, walk. I will do a video of all about my walks. So if you're wondering about that, I will get to that. Um, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Oh, we have shown you the view outside on the balcony, right? It's still oh, snowing. And the barbecue we've used and the barbecue, once or twice. That's right. Sometimes get out there. We get out there and grill on this very dusty now barbecue. Um, Adam's on. afraid of heights, so whenever <laughs> we do that, he just stays inside, sets the camera I'm outside. Not. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Get out there. He just won't go within two feet of the balcony. Um, there you go. So that's all. Thanks so much for joining. Um, and thanks for being a part of, of this community, this online community that has enabled me to reach this yet another milestone. And it's, it's such a pleasure. It's, I, I feel very lucky and I don't take any of this for granted. I thank Adam for putting such hard work into this and for being cool about me using his place every couple of weeks. Thank my brother, both my brothers, my brother Eddie for starting this whole thing, my brother Art for making it the way it looks now and he's sort of my general consultant. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you, first of all, most of all. 
And that's it. I'll see you later, guys. And hopefully I, when this goes out, I can see some of your comments and hopefully address them. If not, you know, you can reach me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I, or my website, hottaikitchen.com, and write me there if you have any questions. See you later. Bye-bye.